Hello everybody, Mark McGurn here. Wanted to do a quick a, uh, review or just my insight of a <clears throat> liquid mask. So here clearly with this color, we know this is gonna be Bitty Liquid Mask and this is Spray Lat Liquid Mask. And so <clears throat> growing up painting many, many moons ago, I uh, used Bob Dively's Liquid Mask and the Spray Lat I found is super duper similar. Unfortunately, I think years ago, uh, Bob Dively's warehouse burned up and uh, the, I don't know if they went out of business, but long story short is that they're no longer selling stuff, right? So as uh, painters, um, Spray Lat's pretty good. So Spray Lat, just like it sounds, S-P-R-A-Y-L-A-T, uh, Coast Airbrush sells that, right? And so then clearly we got the Biddy design. And for the longest time since I did use Bob Dively, uh, I discovered Spray Lat and really uh, was using that for a while. Well, was it last year, so 2022, uh, there was a shortage, right? And so really the only liquid mask out there was Bastix, which I tried, not a fan of. It looks very similar to Spray Lat, at least the color, uh, but just the consistency, uh, from bottle to bottle. I think I only got two. It wasn't that good. Um, not a huge fan. And so <clears throat> I tried Biddy. And I tried Biddy, I don't know, six years ago, seven years ago, and um, wasn't a huge fan. Sorry, Stefano. Um, but apparently during that time, he changed up the formula. And I started using uh, Biddy in 2022 and truly, truly fell in love with his liquid mask. Now, Mark, why do you have Spray Lat? Well, remember, it was sold out forever, and so I had, uh, had one on back order and totally forgot about it, and the gallon of liquid mass showed up at my house, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna waste it, so I decided to use it. Well, I'm finally out of this, and I'm using Biddy again, and I was like, you know what? I wanna do a quick review of my thoughts, uh, you know, from the two masks. Here in the United States, those are the two biggest liquid masks that I found with painters that they've used. And people always ask, hey, which liquid mask is the best? The short answer, in my personal opinion, is Biddy. Period, end of story. And I'll kind of explain why I feel that way that is. All right, so let me go through Spray Lab first. The good. The good is you can buy it in a gallon, right? And so as painters, we don't get paid a ton of money for what we do, and so every little bit of, uh, of money we can save helps a ton, right? So that's the biggest thing. The fact that it comes in a gallon can is super duper nice. Uh, I just use a spoon to scoop it out, throw it on my uh, HVLP, high velocity, low pressure uh, gun. I always think it's HLVP, but it's HVLP. So that's good, right? So let's talk, we'll go one by one, cost, right? So. Spray Lat, I believe, you can get in a gallon size, uh, and really that's, until you go to the gallon, they're about equal, right? So if you paint a lot, it's um, you're gonna use a lot of liquid mask. If you're just a hobbyist that does for yourself or you and a couple of buddies, uh, once the cost will be very similar. So for a gallon on this, I believe it's close to like $9,500 for a gallon, right? So that's 128 ounces, right? So I believe if you get a 32 ounce uh, can, it's gonna be close to Biddy. So with Biddy's, right, they only come in 32 ounces, right? And so uh, to get four of those, well, for three, for each of these bottles is around 30 to 35 bucks. So you do 128 ounces, you're gonna be upwards of 120 to 130 dollars. So it's about a $30 swing per one gallon of liquid mask. Now, maybe you find it on sale, I order it from my uh, local track, I get a little discount because I pay membership there, so that kind of helps, but I'm still gonna pay the extra for this, right? And I'm gonna kind of explain a little bit more. Okay, main differences from, uh, let's talk about putting it in the HVLP, right, and spraying it. So I'm gonna, that's all I do, but this will be definitely very similar if you brush on your liquid mask. Right, so here with the spray lap, you do have to uh, thin it out, and I just thin that out. If you look for my videos on YouTube, you'll kind of see how I do that. 
but it does, it's too thick out of the gallon or out of the can to spray. It can, but it's really slow and it's really thick, right? And so you do need to thin that. So you get a little more than, I guess, a gallon. I mean, but it's not a lot of water. Uh, for Bitty, you pour that sucker straight in and it is butter smooth, period, end of story. Now, I've heard of clumps with both. So with Spray Lap, I've ran across a couple, uh, but again, I was able to you know, scrape it off the top and it was no harm, no foul. Some people strain their liquid mask. I have not found a need for that for either of these. Now, biddies, I've gone through gallon and a half, maybe two gallons of bitty, and I bet there's been one bottle in there that I got a little bit of a clock. No straining, no thinning, no nothing. Pour it in there. But it, it, what happens, what I found is when I'm spraying it out, the, I don't know if there's even any on here, because I don't think any came out on this one, um, it just shoots out. Right, I've never had an issue with the clogging of that. Right, uh, all right, let's keep on going from spring. Now, what I have found is Biddy, uh, because of the, the, I guess, flexibility of it or, or whatnot, however you want to call it, is if you go a little thicker on spray lot, right? Let me write this out. If you go too thin on either of them, it stinks. Liquid mask that's too thin is just horrific to deal with. It's no fun if you paint it long enough with, with liquid mask, it's happened to you. It is zero fun, okay? Now, what about too thick? With um, both of them, if it's on too thick, it's not fun to cut with. You should be able to just sli slice your blade through it. No harm, no foul, it's pretty easy. But what you'll find is when it's too thick, you can't get those rounded corners. When you're trying to peel it up, the tip's thick, it doesn't stick as well with the spray lot. The biggest reason, one of the biggest reasons why I love biddies is how well it conforms and sticks to the body. Okay, so let me kind of explain that. And so when you're doing bodies like this, right, and you got these long tips here, right, and then down all the, all the points that you have, when you start peeling them up with spray lot, right, and even when I do it right, and I pull one side up and pull it towards the point, pull one side up, go to the point. Inevitably, 50% of the time, a, a large chunk, I get that dreaded tail where that liquid mask on that tip, on that point, kind of peels up and I got this beautifully perfect point and it goes, it goes like completely to the side. And I've got pretty good at straightening it out, but it's still not the same of a perfect cut. Uh, that happens all the time with spray light. I paint a lot of touring card bodies. Uh, we have these jagged edges, these sharp points, as you can kind of see, I mean, a ton, a ton of points. Um, and I do that with off-road uh, as well, uh, but for touring car, that's kind of our, our thing that we like to do. And I tell you what, y'all, and yes, I'm from Texas, so I do say y'all, is that bitty, what I love about that is as I'm pulling out, it does not want to pull up. So it like adheres to the body better. Like it literally sticks to the body, right? And so as I peel it, I rarely, rarely get that tail that comes out on those points. Now, Biddy is harder to work with if you get it too thick. Um, I have done a video on how to use it and it's about just two good, both of them, I'll do two good sprays on my HVLP, sprayed it on there. As you can see, it's really smooth. Um, and it is fantastic for both, if you do it right. If you get a little heavy on the spray lot, it's a touch more forgiving, a touch. Still a pain to work with. With biddies, it's harder. Uh, that's the best way to describe, it's not as flexible. And I did just paint a bitty, uh, and I don't have the other one to do, but I'll kind of, I got this deal. It doesn't stretch as much. If this was spray lat, I could literally, like it's, at a, if I kept pulling, it would break right here. This is bitty. With spray lat, right there, it broke. With spray lat, as I pull that, it's going to continue to stretch till it gets too thin and it breaks. But it's how bitty works. And sure enough, as you see, it's not, now it's not a bad thing. That I think is what helps it stick to the body. It, but when you get it on too thick, it does make it more difficult. 
And really, again, it's two medium coats, right? So medium to light coats you do. Uh, I'm in Texas right now, it's the summertime. I'll spray it, I'll go set it outside for an hour. I mean, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit or, or hotter. It dries within 45 minutes, uh, close to 30. There'll be some spots that'll be like, I'll have to spray back here in these little weird crevices. Gotta get a little more liquid mask in there. And that might take a little bit more, but as a whole, it's pretty quick. In winter time, when it's not warm outside, what I'll do is I'll throw a space heater up uh, behind, behind a box fan. So the heat comes through there, hits the box fan and goes there. So is it taking the temperature down? Yes, but it is a warmer air. Because I found with both, um, what will happen is if you get it too hot, too quick, it will literally like bubble right? And those bubbles won't come down. And that is still zero fun. So uh, I can use a hotter uh, drying method with spray lat um, versus Biddy. What I have found when I do that, it does bubble up a little bit. But again, guys, this is super duper small. Um, check out my videos and, and you'll kind of see how I spray. But it, again, it takes me, I did a couple bodies the other day and I think it took me literally between spraying them and cleaning them all in all about 15 minutes right like cleaning the body spraying the body cleaning the brush you know all that it was super duper simple uh check out my other videos on how to do that um so again then when it comes to cutting right so again we've talked about cost right we've talked about how it sprays uh, we've talked a little bit how it sticks to the bodies let's talk about cutting now, my eyes for 15 years, I've got used to this, right? So this is a little different. So what I found is when I'm cutting my bodies, I use a really cool headlamp, right? And so that helps me find my lines. And so what I found with Biddy, because of the pink, it, there is a very, very slight difference of I can see my cuts a tick better on this versus here. But again, all I gotta do is get the right angle of it with the right light and it's a, it's, it's a non-issue. But again, I'm trying to be 100% transparent to kind of show you what I found over my time using both. And so I have found that. Right light on there, again, I've been, I used Biddy for uh, uh, probably painted I don't know, 100 bodies last year, maybe more, I think. Um, maybe less, I don't know, but I painted a lot. Either way, 75 to 125, I'm not quite sure. Um, and I bet over half of those were with Biddy, I bet close to three quarters were. And I never had a non-issue. Again, I just wanna kind of explain my findings with that. Um, and then, so once you cut it, and it's the peeling for me, because again, at the end of the day is, I want the best, possible product that I can have to do my job the best to deliver a quality paint job for my customers. And to me, there's without a question that goes down there and Biddy is going to be my go-to. And so I wanted to explain this because I've been around in some videos and I'm sure I talked about how I love video a while back uh, last year sometime and then people probably saw these spray lats and like, I guess Mark doesn't like um, Biddy anymore. And that's not at all the case. I had a gallon of it that showed up at my house. So I had to uh, make use of that, that money. Um, but again, I'll kind of explain it and kind of, uh, you know, just summarize why I like Biddy. It's a tick more expensive, right? But again, better product, you're going to pay for it. And to me, it's worth that. Um, spraying it. Um, basically, you've got to... Uh, once you figure out the, the formula, two medium coats, you let it dry completely in, in, in between, it is zero problems. It goes on butter smooth, as you guys can see. I mean, this thing is butter smooth. And you can kind of see where it's still a little wet. It's not even wet, but it just didn't dry because I had a, these little, where the wings go, it's hard to get in there, so I gotta spray it a lot, right? So it sprays butter smooth. Oh, cleaning about spraying. Dude, so using a spray lap, okay, when you put it in your HVLP or a brush, it is much more difficult. It's not difficult. It takes longer to clean your HVLP brush versus Biddy. 
right? So if I pour water in my cup there, right, with my spray lap, it will literally kind of get it out. I spray water with Bitty, it comes right out. I use a little uh, pipe cleaner, clean my brush, and it is twice as fast to clean up with Bitty, which is critical, critical, which I love. Uh, so spraying it on is great. Uh, I'll actually probably drop a link in there of how I've learned how to spray Bitty to make it work beautifully every single time. Uh, from there, uh, cutting designing. Uh, again, the Bitty gives a little less light, reflective light that you can see from it. But again, it is a tick. I just wanna be 100% transparent with everyone. Um, but the killer is, is how well, what differentiates Bitty to me, to anything else on the market, is how well it conforms and sticks to the body. So when you cut it and you're peeling the liquid mask out, it is perfect almost every time. Now, again, I'm the one cutting it, so you can easily screw up that cut. But if done right, it's a good cut, clean cut, it will pull off. You're not gonna have to worry about this squirrely tail out there. And it's consistently given me for you know close to a year the best possible results I can for my painting. So, in conclusion, right? Spray lot, bitty, bitty all day, guys. So uh, the couple extra bucks is worth it, but due to the performance of bitty design liquid mask. So hopefully this has helped a couple of people. Uh, out of when they're debating which one to get. Uh, I know each one, each person likes their own. This is my personal uh, recommendation for using liquid mask on remote control car Lexan bodies. Thanks so much. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.